popping. It's your boy Kaden the Rake, Kaden the Don, Rake Kill K, and I'm in a building. And we got a subscriber topic today, so I'm gonna read that off. And you know, we finna get straight to it. He said, "Bro, can you make a video on how to get out of the friend zone?" I can't believe I ain't made one of those videos already, but yeah, I can do that with an ex or any girl that you're interested in that has you in limbo. I seen your why she wants to be just friends video. And you should go check that out if you haven't already. I was wondering if you could piggyback off that and explain how to turn that situation around. Okay, so basically what he asking me is, how do you get out of friend zone or how do you turn the situation where you already stuck in friend zone with a woman around? And how do you put it back to where you got the power? And to, I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. It ain't no guarantees in this shit. So the the methods the two methods that i'm gonna give y'all i'm gonna just let y'all know it ain't no guarantee this is just what gives you the best chance to to turn this around and get out of friend zone with a woman right and because getting out of friend zone ain't no guarantees in that anybody who tell you it's a guarantee and getting out of friend zone they lying so the second method because y'all know i'm gonna go from two to one the, the most powerful one gonna come last uh it's the bold code and before I explain the bow code, let me let me give you some background, right? So why do you get stuck in the friend zone? You get stuck in the friend zone because a woman has deemed you basically ineligible, right? She feels like, yo, I can do better than this dude. Like, I can do better than this. It's the same reason you might put a seven in the friend zone because you've been attracting eights and nines your whole life. Like, if you've been attra attracting girls, you feel like I eights and nines your whole life. You're not gonna go. You're not gonna be with a seven, right? You're gonna put her in the friend zone. That's how she feels about you. Now she might be attracted to you, and you might have a chance, and you might, you might have already been with this woman, and she put you in friend zone, right? She just deemed you ineligible. Ineligible. Wow. She knocked you down, right? She knocked you down, right? So the bowl code. What is that? The bold code is doing a singular bold act, bro, that's outside of what you would normally do. Because 9 out of 10, you got put in friend zone because you show weakness. You hesitated. You was you was um, dithering and dicking around. Like, you was doing stuff like that. And over time, that built up, built up, built up. And she felt like, oh, this man weak. He not an alpha. He not, he not the top of the crop. You know what I mean? So, what is that? You do a singular bold act. Let me give y'all an example. I'm going to tell y'all a story real quick of the bowl code. Because I don't want y'all out here being fucking creepy. Like, because you could easily cross the line and it ain't boldness no more. It's fucking being creepy. But anyway, so this story, right? A few years ago, when I went to prom, I went to prom with this girl. We was friends all through high school. Like, we was legitimately friends. And I went to prom with her, right? And I liked her. And that's why I was really friends with her because I liked her. But, you know, she ain't feel that way about me. She was friends with me and shit. And this is before I knew, you know, what I know now. And, you know, I ain't get shit on prom. Like, you know, it was nothing. Couple years later in college, you know what I mean? I was coming to my into my own as a dude. And this girl came back home for the summer, right? And we just happened to be back in the city back home for the summer and shit or whatever. But this time I had made up in my head, like, yo, forget that, bro. Like this girl ain't no better than me. Cause I had been dating so many girls in college. I'm like knocking them down back to back to back. And when I got back, I felt like, man, I'm on the equal playing field with this girl, man. I'm not finna be just friends with her. I'm not finna just sit around and be friends with this girl just cause she say she want to be friends and cause she say she don't see me like that. So we met up or whatever. We went out for drinks and shit on some friend shit. We went out for drinks. And during that time, like I was being like myself, I was being myself and I was being my normal charismatic. I'm a little flirty, sexual self or whatever. Right. And I wasn't being constrained by, I was being bold. I wasn't being constrained by like, this whole friendship thing, like, yo, in my head, it was like, fuck that. Like, fuck friendship. Like, I'm going to be the type of man that I want to be towards you. And so, as I did that throughout the night, and the night was about to end, like, she was like that. And she usually, like, women where I'm from, we usually give them a hug. And it's 
it's that. You know what I mean? If you friends with him, you give him a hug, it's that. But she go in for the hug, and I knock her hands down. Like, I legit go, boom, and knock her hands down. And she look at me startled as hell. Now, this is where the boldness come in. I knock her hands down, and, you know, you have to be careful with this, bro. I'm going to tell you, you have to be careful because you can't just go doing this to women, bro. You have to be careful. You have to know how to read the situation and you have to have social acuity, bro. Build your social acuity. Know what's okay and what's not okay. I just knew that this bull that would be fine. Like it wouldn't, you know what I mean? So I knocked her hands down. She looked at me like, what? And like, it was like she was startled and I grabbed her by a hoodie or whatever, like this, like not in a super aggressive way, just in a sensual way. And I pull her in and I kiss her or whatever. And I'm like, I'll see you later. Like, and I just left it at that. And I walked away and she, I could tell, I seen out of my peripheral that she was standing there fucking stunned, like straight stunned, right? No words, nothing. She didn't say anything. Now, like three days later, this girl called me back. She legit called me back. Now, mind you, this was a friend from high school. We had been friends for like five or six years up until this point. Yeah, like all through high school and then up into college. This was like my second year of college. So she comes in. She calls me back or whatever. And she's like, yo, do you want to go bowling today? So we go bowling. And this time the energy is different. The energy is different because it's flirty. It's fun. She opening up. And she touchy and all of that. Because now she see me as a potential mate. Because she gave me that friend zone bullshit. And I said, fuck that shit in my head. Basically. So that is what the bold code is. Like, that is an alpha's way of handling things. Now, number two. The most important thing. Or the strongest thing you can do. Without necessarily having to have the bold code on lock. Because the bold code it, it is very, very, is very, very risky. Right, that's a very risky way of getting out of the friend zone. But to get out of the friend zone, you gotta take risk. You have to. Another way, whatever to turn this around. And this is with a woman you been with, and then she puts you in a friend space like she don't want to be with you no more. This works for all of that. This works for all of that. You know what I mean? But it's very risky. You can risk pushing a woman away forever, and you gotta be okay with that. The other method, bro, the most powerful method though, and that's an incredibly powerful method of doing it. But the most powerful method is using pre-selection to your advantage, my dude. My dude, you walk in a donut shop and you see the chocolate donut and you like, man, that's a good chocolate donut right there, right? And then you look over and you see a double chocolate donut with your favorite icing on top of it or something. Like a double chocolate donut with, 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 with sprinkles and you love sprinkles. Naturally, the chocolate donut ain't going to be that important no more, right? That's what you have to use against these women when it when it pertains to getting out of the friend zone. When a woman puts you in friend zone, it's because she thinks she could find better. Using pre-selection to your advantage says, I'm going to go out and I'm going to date women who are on your caliber or better than you, right? And I'm going to let you see that because she said you are not on her caliber. In her head, she might not consciously be saying that but unconsciously she's saying in my head you are not on my caliber when i go out and date women who own your caliber or better now you're naturally gonna start to see me as on your caliber mind you this only works if you're also bettering yourself like becoming more attractive getting your money up getting your fashion up getting your lining straight my dude getting all of that stuff together when you get all of that together and you dating women who better than her, naturally, she going to start to see you as more of a catch. And you might start to hear, like, in y'all friendly conversations and stuff, you might start to hear y'all her say things of, of that nature, like, yeah, you a catch. And, you know, man, you know, all the girls like you, blah, blah, blah. You might start hearing stuff like that. This is when you make that move, bro. You turn things around. And this is where the bow code come in. But you turn things around. From a, and it takes time, bro. So you're not going to get out in a day. There's no quick fix technique. But that's when you start to turn things into more of a romantic encounter, bro. And you slowly do that. But you do it in a bold way. You have to. You have to. And you slowly do that. 
And because you have pre-selection and because you've been working on yourself and improving yourself, this woman sees that. This woman who put you in a friend zone, she see that, bro. This woman who put you in a space, who who dated you in the end, put you in a space where it's like, oh, he's not good enough. She see that, bro. She see that. And then she get competitive, which is a natural female trait. She gets jealous, which is also a natural female trait. And then she has the urge to change that situation, a.k.a. test you to see if, hey, is this the same dude I put in friend zone or is this a potential romantic candidate? And when you start to pass those tests, right? Now, you already pre-selected. When you start to pass those tests, and then jump into this romantic frame and start to get flirty. And it just get easier and easier and easier. And then, boom, you make a bold move on her. That's when you get out of the friend zone. That's how you turn that around. That's how you go from being in friend zone fucking limbo to being the man, bro. That's, the, that's really the only way to do it. I don't care what these dudes tell you. But that's really the only way to do it. Unless, and you got to be comfortable and willing to let this woman walk away. You have to be. Because all of this stuff is always going to be a risk. And it's always a thing that you risk pushing her away. You ever heard a woman say, I don't want to mess up our friendship and what we have by getting romantic. That is a real thing, bro. That's a real thing with these women. Because you inevitably have to mess up the friendship and what you have in your relationship. You have to be willing to risk it all to gain it all, bro. And that's real talk, bro. But it's your boy, Ray Kale K, the object of her desires, man. Y'all got to become that too, dog. Y'all got to become that too. Man, if you like this one, make sure you hit the like button, man. Hit the subscribe button. Y'all already know how it go over here, man. We out. It's Valentine's Day. I'm posting this the same day I'm shooting it. So I'm finna go get me some pussy. I'm out of here, man.